Hi, my name is Melissa Schneider, and I wanted to share with you uh, a few tools that you can utilize with your students to help them practice their speaking skills. Um, at our schools, we recently acquired a couple sets of these headsets. Some of you may have them um, readily available, but we have sets of 35 that can be checked out. Um, Chromebooks have microphones on them and other things, but it's always nice to have a headphone when kids are recording and then you don't get the ambient noise from the background. But there are three different things I want to talk about that are really simple ways to um, build in speaking into activities in your classroom. So uh, one of those is a tool called Flipgrid. Um, this was shared with us at a PD in the um, fall. And so we have built into our high school and junior high media center pages an option for students to record their own audio and video book reviews. There's a gadget built right into the website. So all the students have to do is come in here and click the green button. It pops up a recording screen. They can hit record and do their quick um, 90 second audio book review and they can hold up the book. They can talk about the book. And then when they're done, they just hit stop and their, their video is recorded. This can translate obviously to a lot of other um, content areas and different ways that you can utilize speaking and listening. So Flipgrid is a great way to utilize that in the classroom. Another tool that I like to use is a really simple one called Vocaroo. It is just a voice recording service, so there's no video tied into it. It's just a way for students to record. So um, they go to the site, and the first time they use it, they'll have to authorize the uh, camera. So they'll click that button, and when they're ready to go, they go ahead and they um, just click record, and they start talking. So it's recording right now. Uh, it doesn't matter what I'm doing with my hands or so on because it's just recording my voice. And when they're done, they click stop. They have the option then to listen and see if they need to re-record, um, retry it again, or if they're happy with it. So if they're happy with their recording, they can just click right here and it will save for them. So they have a few different options for sharing. They can just copy a link which is a really easy way to uh, share with Google Classroom by turning in an audio recording or paste into a shared document. So the teacher or the rest of the class will have the links to everybody else's recording if you're doing podcasts like activity or something. They can download it as an MP3 um, and upload to whatever tool you want to use, if it's a Google Drive sharing folder, anything like that. They can even generate a QR code for their recording. And so that's an image they can grab and post on a website. And when people scan it, they would have access to their audio recording. So Vocaroo is another cool tool that can be used. And it's very simple to use, no login required with that. And so another simple thing is similar to what I'm doing right now is do a screencast. Um, kids love to create slideshows. They're a simple way. They are familiar with that tool. So I'm in a Google slideshow here. And I just have a five slide show that illustrates the seasons. So one of the things they can do is use a tool like Screencastify, which is an extension um, for Chrome right here. Or I'm using Loom right now. There are lots of different video recorders that are out there. They just click and start recording. So they can hit present. And once they hit present, they can start narrating their slideshow. Um, so I'm going to start on slide one instead of five, but they can go through and explain. They have incorporated visuals, but then they might have a script that they've already written that goes along with their slideshow. And they can work their way through and explain, you know, summer is their favorite time of year, why it's their favorite time of year, and so on. And then fall, the beautiful colors, um, the change in the air. If they're focusing on imagery or something, they can use uh, visual language as they talk about their slides. Um, maybe they're explaining the history behind why they chose certain images and so on and they can work through their slideshow. And then they have a narrated uh, slideshow that they can turn in. It generates a, uh, a link or it creates the video right within their Google Drive if they're using Screencastify, which is an awesome tool um, for students. So those are three simple ways that students can use speaking. Um, and you can incorporate speaking and then other students listening to their recordings and maybe providing feedback that way. So some great ways to utilize technologies that are free and easily accessible.